everyone, Luke here with Guardian Fleet Safety, checking out a brand new 2021 uh, Chevy Tahoe Pursuit uh, PPV that's heading out to North Dakota in the morning. Just got this one finished up this evening. So uh, normally I don't like to shoot night videos because it makes the, the lights look too bright, unrealistically bright. So, um, but because they just finished this one up and it's leaving at 5 a.m., I'm not getting up that early to shoot a video. So here you go. Uh, this is for our friends out at the Benson County Sheriff's Office in uh, North Central North Dakota. Again, it's a 2021 Chevy Tahoe. We have the Weston heavy duty uh, pit wrap bumpers, push bumper headlight loops. We got the N-Force, dual N-Forces up there and then we have our six by ones we have the four by two in dual color in the corner of the pit wrap and then obviously our factory headlight flasher m power light bar up top now this is drive level three so this is going to be what the vehicle looks like when it's responding you see up under the mirror we have a surface mount intersector light on the Tahoe specific bracket. Then up there, we have the corner of the light bar, as well as another six by one light, which is stupid bright. The camera is not even showing it flashing because it's so bright. How many times can you say so bright, huh? Um, we have uh, sound off signal deck lights, dual color in the cargo window. Uh, here in the back, we have, uh, that's the back of the light bar, we have eight sound off signal data M powers. So those are red, amber, white, and blue, amber, white. So they flash red, blue. Uh, they will go white in reverse and scene lighting, and then uh, amber for traffic arrow stick override. I'll give you a shot from over here. Yeah, I'm gonna put the vehicle into park and turn the arrow stick on so you can uh, kind of see what I'm talking about. So once the vehicle goes to the park, kills the white lighting, and that's what the rear is gonna look like if you turn the arrow stick on, obviously. So you're gonna park, slows the patterns down, and those data M powers perfectly synchronize with the rooftop light bar. Uh, ghost decal kit, courtesy of Advanced Graphics out of the Twin Cities. You can uh, kind of see it there. It's ghost reflective. There we go, there's a good shot of it. This is a canine unit. Inside here we have uh, an amazing uh, Troy Products center console. And we have their printer armrest mount as well. And then we have their motion device. So really, really nice setup by Troy Products. They make a real solid steel console. It's uh, really good stuff, drops right in there. You see we have our watch guard 4RE camera. Ace K9 hot and pot deployment system, and then we have a Stalker 2X radar. All these items are were provided for us. This is a complete turnkey vehicle. Uh, Satina black rack up there on the kettle, and I guess it didn't say it already. It is a, a K9 unit. So we have a handful of switches that we added in down here at the customer's request. Um, so we have a white K9 light, red K9 light. Um, and then we have the uh, dome light in the prisoner area, dual color. So go ahead and turn the K9 light on. Now let me show you the uh, when the dog is deployed. Uh, this will work with the lights on or off. Um, but we programmed this where when the button is pushed, that this is what the officer carries on their belt. So let's say the officer is rolling around the ditch fighting with somebody. They can push this button, deploy the dog, 
and then all of the scene lighting comes on uh, for approximately 30 seconds and it's going to override the flashing red and blue the purpose for that is so the um the dog can easily locate the officer so if they're deploying up oh, there just shut off let me i'm going to do it again just to show you the back you can see how much just insane white lighting there is on this thing so the purpose of that is so the dog exits the vehicle he he can readily locate the officer and render aid in lieu of um if all the lights are flashing you know it might disorientate the dog um you know it might make it harder for him to find out where's where the officer is actually at needing help so that's the purpose for that uh turn on the canine light so we can see this here um the officer also requested um some custom reflective decals so when the doors open oncoming traffic can see um you know the arrows and says move over and there's also a canine um canine deployed sticker there so this is the satina ultimate 2 canine for the chevy tahoe so it's pretty nice it's not a ton of room which is good because a lot of times you have to carry stuff in the back and that makes it rather difficult when you have the old ultimate 2 canine that came all the way back um you know, halfway through the halfway through the vehicle made it really tough so we have our dome lights here so easily, so we got lots of nice lighting here. I'm not gonna take all this stuff out because the guys already had it loaded up, um, but we have the Satina triple stack um, drawer system here with the electronics in the bottom, and that just affords them quite a bit of room to put all this extra stuff up, um, equipment and whatnot, because as we know, the canine officers carry a boatload of equipment. Oh, let me turn the dome light on here. If the headlights are on, that would automatically come on, but. Uh, I turned the headlights off, so I'm gonna click it here manually. And then that is a dual color cage light. So if he's transporting somebody at night and he wants to see him with a little bit of light, he can turn that red. So. And then here's a shot of that uh, center console from the passenger side. So we got our Eltron driver's license scanner. Uh, got a couple flashlights. We got our fast charger in there. Uh, you kind of see that black rack up there with the speaker mounted high. Um, we also have a brake kill feature in here. And there's just another shot of the uh, white scene lighting. Now obviously there's some lights on the building here, but uh, there's still a pretty substantial amount of lights. Uh, if, if those weren't here. So this is a real rural county um, out in North Dakota. So this is, uh, you know, paramount that they have really good scene lighting because there's no street lights out there. There's no, um, you know, basically whatever they have coming on in the car is all they're gonna get. So uh, that's why I made sure to give them a lot, of, a lot of lighting so they can do their job safely out there. That's about all I have to show you on this one, guys. Thank you for checking it out. Uh, sorry, the video, like I said, is a little dark with the bright lights. I, I don't like to normally do that, but it is what it is. Uh, remember, Guardian Fleet Safety, we're serving all of northern Iowa, uh, western Wisconsin, and then all of Minnesota, and all both of the Dakotas. So, um, we have customers all over the place, and um, we continually get new customers. So, if you guys are sick of your current upfitters and you guys need some high-quality installs, check us out. Um, otherwise, thanks for watching, uh, be safe out there, and we'll catch you next time.